Hi, everybody. I don't understand what's going on. I did a live on my Facebook page, like my Facebook group page, on Friday, and I did not have this problem. I was on there for 40 minutes before I decided to sign out. So I don't understand why it's giving me such a hard time. But this is like the second time it's done this. Okay. Now on to eyeshadow because eyeshadow is where I can make the most mess. I just finished setting my face. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Sorry, you guys. I've drank all this within like 15 minutes. I haven't really had a whole lot of water today. I guess that's why I'm super thirsty. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out. I'm doing everything in my bedroom when I usually do it all in the bathroom. And so, it's a different setup. So, I don't remember where I put half my stuff. Um, but, I'm going to be wearing this dress. It's green with red and yellow. And a little bit of brown and blue. So, I think I'm going to go for a reddish, brownish look. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we'll see when we get there. For me, I kind of just improvise because I usually can't do the same look more than once. Let's see what time is it? 8.35. Okay. Um, I'm going to a wine tasting with my friend and I'm trying to hurry up and get ready. Let me turn this slide off. I wonder if it would be better with a smaller mirror. This mirror is gross. It has like all kinds of nastiness all over it. I have a bigger mirror that I hang in my bathroom. Um, so that I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I should probably show y'all what colors I'm using, huh? Um, okay. For the base. Okay, so first I'm using the BH, um, Cosmetics Blush Neutrals palette. I love this palette. Everything's kind of like brownish red base. Except for that random pink right in the middle. But, I'm using this color for the uh, the base. Because the lighting isn't very good, this is going to be a surprise. We'll see how it goes. Okay, now let's see. What am I going to do? I don't know yet. Okay. Well, there's orange on the dress. So, let's start with orange. I'm going to use... Eh, or peach. Do this peach. I'm going to use this peachish color for the crease. And a little above the crease. When I had to log back on to Facebook because my um, my internet kept failing, I'm on my regular internet and so I'm kind of nervous to see how much I'll use for, for this video. I'm going to have to find a new spot to do lives. I'll do it in my bathroom next time, but the only thing with doing it in my bathroom is I can't sit down and I have no place to put my phone. The last time I put my phone somewhere kind of close to me, it fell on my palette and broke my palette. So I might have to get one of those 
phone holders that you can stick on the mirror. The only thing with that is I still can't sit down. And um it's gonna be too far away. At least with here, the phone's only maybe a foot away from me. In the bathroom it would be about two and a half feet away, so it would be too far. I don't think you'd be able to see what I'm doing. Um Okay, let's see. Let's go for brown. You can never go wrong with brown. Well, you could. Okay. I'm going to use this brown for the um, corners. Not the corner, but like the outer edge. And I've been using a blending brush, and I got it from NYX. Like I said, I just clean off the brush. Okay. I was using my naked uh, brush for everything until I got a blending brush and I like this brush a lot better. And now I use it for everything. I still use my naked brush. I will be using it here in a minute, but... I feel like with the blending brush, it puts a little bit on, or you can kind of control how much you want to put on in comparison to the NYX brush, what kind of packs it on. So I guess depending on what look you're going for, it's beneficial, but for me, I'm heavy handed when it comes to dipping my brush in my palette and um, putting it on my lid. And so, it's better if I just do a little bit at a time. Okay. If I want to fix it, I can add more. But... Right now it looks okay. Okay. Now I'm going to use this red. It's lighter than what it's being portrayed. It's like that color. I feel like down here shows the actual color. Um, but it's a nice maroon. And so I'll use that for the middle. I'm going to use... It's like a flattish brush, kind of flat and fluffy. Um, well, not fluffy, but thick. It's like a bamboo brush. I think I got it at Walmart. I'm just going to stick the color in the middle. Like I said, I'm trying to just kind of see what it looks like. without going crazy. I'm using the wrong color. And like I said, with this brush is really similar to the NYX brush. And so, these brushes you can kind of just pack it on. Okay, then for the inner corners, I'm going to use this light brownish beige color. I'm trying to see if I can get an accurate, there it is, an accurate color. Darn, I just stuck my finger in it. 
That's what I tend to do. I stick my finger and everything. Okay. I want to put it on my inner corner. And I am using my naked palette uh, brush that it came with. I just didn't light on my mirror. Just got it today, so I'm not quite used to it just yet. I was looking on Google and there, this was like the highest rated, one of the highest rated mirrors on the market, and it was like 35 bucks. I didn't realize how small it was. It was like a foot tall. It has a base and everything, but I've had to raise it a little bit. I mean, it's a nice mirror, but I'm done. I just don't like how short it is. That's not really, not sure I like how the light on it, because it doesn't seem to be helping very much. Um, let's see. For the outer corner as well, I'm going to be doing this brown. Just to kind of darken the edges. You know what I just realized? My setting powder is still open. And, um, if I'm not careful, I'm going to get that everywhere. See? It's like, when oh, it's full. That's one mess I do not want to clean up. Okay, so I'm going to use that color I showed you. I'm going to use the fluffy side of the brush. I'm kind of just going to outline the crease a little bit. I kind of go exaggerated with my makeup. I really try not to, but... What I try and what I do are two different things. So... I mean, I try to look modest, and sometimes, you know, things happen. Oh, man, my back hurts. Okay. Now I'm going to go back with that first, first peachish color that I used, and I'm going to fix the crease if, Yeah, the crease area. Or the brown bone area. No, this is just this is the crease. Just to kind of blend it all together. Then I'm going to go in with my blending brush, blending brush, and I'm going to kind of just soften this edges. I don't think I could ever do a makeup tutorial because I, I don't know what I would be doing. I don't think I can repeat the same look multiple times. I'm just improvising and hoping for the best. I'm just reapplying those colors with my blender brush just to kind of blend them all together. Okay. Mm, should go up a little bit. 
I don't like it when my foundation, not my foundation, my eyeshadow goes up to my eyebrows. I don't know, I feel like it's too exaggerated when it does that. But maybe it's supposed to do that. Well, I mean, not all the way up, but, you know, somewhat up there. just feel like it's too much. Mm. Looks fine to me. Darn, I dropped my brush. Does that even do anything? No, you can't even tell. Okay. <sighs> Try to see if I can pick it up with my toes. Oh, did you hear it fall again? Okay. What time is it? 8.49. Okay, well, I'm almost done. Usually the eyeshadow is the hardest part. It's getting eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, now let's see what's next. Guys, I'll do my eyeliner. It's probably for the best that I'm drinking all this water now if I'm about to have wine, but I have to pee in a bit. Where is my eyeliner? I think this is it. Okay, so I kind of suck at eyeliner. I will make it small and then I try to do it on the other side and eventually they just get really long. So we'll see how this goes. I used to use tape and um, a brush with gel eyeliner, but my gel eyeliner was drying, and so, and it wasn't doing it, for, it was, I was making them crooked when I did it with tape, so I've been doing liquid again, and I send, tend to make more of a mess with liquid than I did with gel. Okay. So, like I told you, I have a mirror in my bathroom that I like to get really close with. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. I know I'm blocking your view. I'm already messing up and trying to even out the line. <laughs> Okay, so I did one side. The fun part is doing the other side. I think it's funny. There are people who think that blending is the hardest part and putting on your makeup. I think if you, as long as you build it, it's not that hard to blend. I think eyeliner is the hardest part. Especially since I start at different places.
Okay. So, I don't know if you can tell, but the line's thick. I like it to a sharp point, so this is where the line gets longer because I didn't do it right. And if you mess up, you mess up. Where are they? There. I brought a candle full of Q-tips because I always mess up. And then somehow my hair got caught in it. <laughs> and I don't go for perfect. Your eyes are like sisters, they're not twins. They're related. But that's it. I just made it worse. I'm gonna leave it alone here in a minute. When in doubt, use your spit. Probably not very hygienic, but when you don't have access to a sink. I don't know if you can tell, but that's the dress on my bed. Mm. Similar. I'll go with similar. I think it's because of the lighting, I can't tell. Okay, now let's see. What am I missing? Okay. Kind of digging it. I like it. Now, I use this very fluffy brush that I got off of Amazon. I love it. It's great. I use it just for my setting powder. Like, there's so much powder stuck in this brush. I don't use my powder brush for wiping off my setting powder because it ruins my powder brush. And the reason why I say it ruins it is because... It, when I wipe off my powder with a brush that I use to set my makeup, my makeup gets clumpy. And it doesn't look right. So I have two different... Um, I have two different uh, brushes. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in there with my... Where did it go? my contour kit again. I'm going to use the dark side, obviously. You can tell that I use more of the dark side than the light side. <laughs> if there is a contour um, kit that you guys like or prefer, recommend it to me. I want to try the Unique contour kit just to kind of see if I like it or not because this one's dying. And you just kind of put it on your crease. I don't do my contour really dark because I don't like it dark. A lot of people like their contour really dark. And I think for me, 
because my skin is it's fair but and it has a soft tan to it I don't think I need to contour very much I just for me makeup is to accentuate beauty not make me look different once I start changing my appearance Oh darn, it's not something that I go for. I do love natural beauty, but I do also like accentuating my beauty. Okay, so now it's blush. I know there are some ladies on here that can do their makeup for hours. For me, it takes maybe an hour. Maybe. And I, I've been down here almost an hour with the two videos that I did. Mm. Well, not two videos, but it was more like I tried to go on live twice, and I don't even know if they're posted, so I have no idea. I don't go that dark. But because I went dark on this side, I felt like I had to even it out. I'm going to go over with powder to kind of fix it. But, um, I'm using, I love NYX. I'm using the NYX Ombre Brush Blush. If you look at it, it's light on top and dark at the bottom. The light part goes right here. It's supposed to be like a highlight, but I add my own highlight up. Or, yeah, it's highlight. See, I have no idea. Let's see. Looking for my powder blind, and that's probably not smart. As you can tell, my go to's are L'Oreal and um, NYX. Because the next product is L'Oreal. And. Oh, I was like, where's my powder brush? Okay, so this is my powder brush. It's an e.l.f. brush. If you can tell. It's all beaten up. It's cracking. I need to get a new brush. Well, actually, I did just buy a new brush kit off of BH Cosmetics. Except it comes in a really cute case. And so, they've been in a really cute case, and I'm thinking I'm just going to use those brushes for when I go out. Not go out, but like go out of town. I always put powder on my neck. Even if I forget to put powder, I mean not powder, but foundation on my neck, I always put powder on my neck to kind of just blend it. <laughs> Is my nose fading away? My ears itch. Doesn't look like it. My nose has a problem with, like, the contour. If I put contour on, like, the dark, um, my makeup starts to smudge on my nose, even though I use powder over my liquid it just it starts to smudge I'm thinking I might have to use a cream or something but I don't like cream because my highlight is a cream and it makes my it makes my makeup rub off uh, okay there uh. Now, I don't do too much with my eyebrows. Um, I just put a little bit of eyeshadow in sh to shape them. Sometimes I just clean them up. I don't think I'm going to do anything to them because they look fine to me. My eyebrows are really thick, and so all I do is just trim them. I take vitamins every morning. And see, they're natural. 
What I do put in them, though, is... I don't know if I brought it. Oh, yeah, I did. It's somewhere. This is where I keep all my miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> Found it. And, um... Yeah. It kind of blends up with the lipsticks. So this is my Maybelline Brow Drum. It's like a mascara for your brows. It's um, sculpting brow mascara. Soft brown. My eyebrows are black, but... I don't ever go the shade of my hair, um, except for when it comes to mascara, but even then I use brown mascara sometimes, and so you really can't tell because it looks black on me. For people who have blonde, then yes, I recommend going darker, um, but no, I'm a... Uh, I don't go dark. And this just, it's like gel. It keeps your eyebrows in place. I need to get more, actually. Um, and I don't ever put eyeshadow on the bottom. I don't even put eyeliner on the bottom because my eyes water a lot. And so, I, I should be using waterproof everything, but I don't know if my eyes are just sensitive or what, and so I just, I keep it to a minimum. Rather than constantly wiping my eyes with a tissue or something, I'd rather just not put anything there. I know it looks a little bland in comparison, but it doesn't bother me. Okay, I know I have my eyeliner again. I just, there's a spot that's bothering me. Where's my mirror? Why do I try to do this when I can't see? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Q tip. Okay, so I am going to have to put some foundation or something there because, um, or powder or something because I keep, I keep rubbing it off. Let me bring the light over here. And this is what I mean. I'm just going to keep trying to fix it, even though it's probably making it worse. It makes me feel better trying to fix it. Okay. So now, what I do is I set my face, or I spray my face with setting spray. Oh, I don't know if you hear that, but my back keeps popping. I really want to try the Unique Rose Water. I haven't had a chance to buy it yet, but I heard really good things about it. For now, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish. I like this one, but not as much as the Wet n Wild. There's a Wet n Wild one that I really, really like. Um, I think it's Wet n Wild. It's only a couple bucks. Mm. 
think. Okay. So for I like to set my makeup before oh, I forgot to do the oops. I forgot to do fix it. <laughs> It's, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I like to s set my makeup with setting spray before I do, um, my mascara. It, because when I do my setting spray after I do my mascara, sometimes it kind of rubs off. When I close my eyes, it'll get all down here, and I know how to take it off, but rather than, I'd rather just not deal with it. So, I'm going to be using two different types of mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast, or Wa Lash Blast Volume, and it's waterproof. I'm using this one first because it's waterproof. Because I told you, my eyes leak. Even if I take, um... Allergy medication, it doesn't matter. My eyes just leak. And there's a hair right here that keeps getting in my eye. And... My beauty blender decided to fall on the floor. I didn't even realize it was on my lap. Oh my goodness. What I don't like is, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's like a hole right there. Not a hole, but where my eyelashes part. Doesn't matter what I do, they part. I think I've had maybe a handful of times when my lashes ne didn't part. And it doesn't matter if I curl them, they still part. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and I'm gonna scrape off. I've got some like <laughs> mascara right there. In this light, you can't tell, but I can because I stuck it there. Okay, let's see. I really hope my friend still wants to do this. My friend has babies, she gets her babies into bed at around 9. So if she doesn't, if she can't do this, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, now I am going in with my unique 3D fiber lashes. These are my absolute favorite. The only thing I don't like about them is they're not waterproof. If they were waterproof, it would be even better. So, it's a two-step process. You put on the gel first, which is the tall one. Then you stick on the fibers, let the fibers dry, and you stick on the gel one again to set it. And so it looks like a regular brush. This is the gel. Okay. I should do the other side, but I'm going to do the side first and then do the other side to give the side time to dry. And then this one, it just has a bunch of fibers on it. And the only thing I don't like is that I always get the fibers in my eye beforehand. Sorry, my phone's ringing.
Oops. She'll text me here in a bit. Okay, so you just apply the fibers all over. I already have the fibers in my eye. I feel like no matter what I do, I get them in my eye. Get them everywhere. Let's see, what did she say? Oh, she left a voicemail. I'm sorry, you guys. I know this is disgusting. I don't know what's wrong with me. I always get them in my eye. Okay, I'm going to do it to the other side. Should have done it while this mascara was still wet. Now it's a little bit harder. It's okay. Now I'm gonna put on the fiber lashes. Let's hope I don't get them in my eye. The fiber lashes give volume and length. I don't need volume. I just need, or I don't need length. I just need thickness. on top. Let's see how that works. As you can see, my lashes are really long. So, I mean, like, they're really long. So I don't need to worry about thickness. Or not thickness, but length. And this is the gel, just to kind of seal it. It's like for me, it kind of looks like if I were to have falsies on without them being falsies. I do it on this side too because this side's already bothering me. Because this side tended to dry before the gel that I'm going to use. This mascara, it's called Wet n Wild Mega Link. I don't think it does anything. I just use it for the small brush. It's very micro small. And it just helps to part my lashes. Oh, sorry, you're looking up my nose. Ow. Just poke myself in the eyeball. Okay. Just kind of checking it over. Oh, I forgot to put mascara on the bottom row. I'm gonna do my other mascara, the one, this one, the CoverGirl. So I like the brush; it's nice and thick. Okay. 
Lastly, oh, come on if it'll fit. Lastly, I'm going to put on my lipstick. I am going to use two different things. I'm going to use the Unique um, Moonstruck Precision Lip Pencil. Uh, the color is called Posh. I love it. This lip liner doesn't, uh, it doesn't transfer. If you prep your lips a certain way. Um, and I didn't prep my lips, so it's, and I'm also going to put a lipstick overneath, or on top, and that one doesn't fade, and so, and that one lasts a long time, so I'm not worried about doing a, uh, about it transferring. I didn't exfoliate my lips, so it's super hard to do this. Okay. It's not perfect. Like, there's just lines everywhere, but it's okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to do that lipstick that I was telling you about. It's, if I brought it, let me see. It's a beautiful nude lipstick. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, Stilla is one of my favorite nude lipsticks as well. This is my favorite nude lipstick. It is called, I don't remember the name of it. I don't know. I got it from Sephora one time, and now Sephora doesn't sell it anymore. It's only online, and it's $22. It's super expensive. This one is Bare Minerals. This color is called Juju. If you can see that, you can't see it. It's not focusing. Sorry. It's called Juju. You can just trust me on it. And it is a brownish nude. And I just love it, especially over the pink. Okay, and that's it. Let's go see it in the uh, good light. So this is my bathroom light. See, there's the mirror I was telling you. I like it. Alright you guys, signing out. Have a good night. Bye.